Hey, this is Nate Story with Bright Agri Tech, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about our media and how the red worms kind of survive in there, what they eat, how they reproduce, and how they function in our system. So those of you uh, who have watched some of our previous videos know that we use red worms in our zip grow tower media. So um, this is actually a piece of media that we pulled out. We're going to junk it. It's oh probably six or seven years old and we grew mint in it. And you can see how, uh, how thick the mint grows. And we're not throwing it away necessarily because, it's, uh, because the mint roots are dense. We're throwing it away because it's old and it's starting to tear. Um, but, you know, we, we do grow red worms in all of our towers, and now they're just kind of in the system. The juveniles just circulate in the system, and they land in towers on their own, and they kind of just colonize towers as they're planted. Um, so I actually grabbed out a couple of red worms here, and I dropped them on the media, and they're already disappearing. But um, you can see how uh, they have no problem at all just digging in to that media. So, uh, you know, most of the questions on this have centered around, you know, what do the, what do the worms eat? So, um, those of you who know about redworms know that they're really great at consuming just about any uh, organic matter that's decomposing and small enough for them to uh, basically get into them. So, um, you know, these, these towers here, they're full of all sorts of, uh, you can see, all sorts of kind of detritus and old roots. And, um, you know, if we pinch it off, you see it's kind of a mixture of plant roots and solids from the system. These worms can survive on the fish waste, so on the fish poop that lands in the tower and, uh, you know, kind of gets worked down into the fibers. They can survive on the dead plant roots. They survive on the dead algae cells that kind of accumulate in the media. They basically will eat anything. They're scavengers, and they'll eat anything in the media. Uh, now the big thing is keeping it relatively low nitrogen, so uh, they don't like really high nitrogen feed products, so we're looking for something with a lot more carbon, you know, like uh, plant roots and, um, you know, fish waste. Uh, they're not going to handle concentrated fish waste, but, you know, with our towers we end up with um, relatively dilute levels that, that are spread out um, through the tower and lots of algae too. So that's kind of what the worms eat. They lay their eggs in the media. They form colonies. Some towers will pull out and we'll have a pound of worms just kind of flop out on the floor. It's really kind of gross. Um, but they do a really great job at keeping these towers nice and clear of solids and keeping our system really nice and healthy. So um, if you do use uh, zip grow towers in an aquaponic setup, I would recommend introducing red worms at some point. They can be a really healthy addition to your system and they can really help with cycling your nutrients. And um, as you see, we've designed our media so that it is compatible with red worms. Red worms love it. They can move through it freely. They lay their eggs in it. They form colonies and uh, they grow really well in this media. So uh, do yourself a favor and add red worms to your system. Thanks so much for watching our videos. If you're interested in Zip Grow Towers or media, check out our uh, shop, our online store at shop.brightagritech.com. And uh, also check out the Vertical Food Blog. We'll be talking in a lot more detail about this media, uh, red worms, and how all of this works together. Thanks so much for watching.